So as we all know, there is a lot of Sonic the Hedgehog merchandise out there. We all have mounds of it in our rooms and do nothing all day but clamor for more. And while what has been made over the years is mostly quality, mostly, there's still many things that Sonic merch companies could do to satisfy our clenching needs. Which is why I'm here today before you, to talk about the Sonic merch that we still need to exist. As a professional money waster, I feel I'm very fit for this assignment. However, considering that this task has pretty much endless possibilities, I brought along a co-host this time. Making his grand return to the channel, it's Speed Super Sonic, who will be taking over later in the video to talk about his most wanted Sonic merch. So with all that being said, let's hop right in. So first and foremost, I'd say let's start with the action figures i like to see, since that's most definitely my bread and butter. So first off, let's just rip the band-aid off and get straight to what I think Jack still needs to do. Obviously, they've done a fantastic job with their character selection, but there's still a few holes they need to get filled in. Firstly, we of course are going to need the other two Babylon rogues with Wave and Storm, both have their extreme gear and look spot on as per Jack's usual. Then we go on to the Chaos figure they made and we're gonna need a Tikal figure to go with them. I mean, could you imagine these two sitting next to each other on a shelf? That would just be mental. Speaking of Finlock displays though, of course we're gonna need a Zavik. While I'm sure there's a lot of people who have him at number 57 on the list of characters they want Jax to make, we just kinda need him. Since we're so close to filling out the whole villain cast from Sonic Forces. I mean, hell, we got an infinite in the year 2023. I don't think it's far off to say we can get a Zavik. It'd be that same sort of scale that Big and Vector were, and would most definitely have some awesome elbow articulation. And this of course would set a legal precedent that they can make the Deadly Six, so one day Zomon will be real. And then probably my most wanted figure I want them to do is Vanilla, since she's such a random but not random character that just never gets any attention. And honestly, I think she'd work really well as a Jax figure, just as long as they get her height correct. And her dress would probably be made out of hollow plastic like the Princess Peach figure they made was. And then to go with both her and Cream, they need to make a Gemeral. Or Gemeral, I still don't know how to pronounce this guy's name. And by extension, an Emerald. I mean, imagine having Cream and Vanilla together on display, and then this guy just swoops in. He would look awesome with some blast effects and on a stand. That would be so awesome. And then one I'm surprised we haven't gotten to yet, the Werehog. Like, come on, where is he? Like, you have Chaos, Infinite, and goddamn E123 Omega before him. I get he's not a super mainline character, but he's been in a lot of stuff recently, and he is a form of Sonic. And then by extension, they need to release a 2.5 inch chip figure, because come on. And then of course, Neo Metal Sonic. I mean, come on, how has this guy slipped their minds? Just take Metal Sonic and retool him and you have the coolest thing to ever exist ever. They really just gotta step up their game with Metal Sonic variants. I'm surprised they haven't dipped their toe in that sweet, succulent market. And speaking of Metal Sonic, we of course are gonna need Mecha Sonic Mark II, the natural evolution of the 2021 masterpiece that was Mecha Sonic, and another Team Eggman thing that has to happen at some point, a goddamn figure of Gamma. How has it not happened yet? I'm surprised, but I mean, Rosaurus did make a Gamma, and he does fit relatively well with Jack's figures, but come on, he desperately needs an upgrade. But screw him, because the better Eggman robots we need are some goddamn figures of Warbot and Cubot. Where are they? This is one that I feel is honestly just a matter of time, even more than anything else, since these guys would fit perfectly into some sort of little multi-pack, and just give him a little conveyor belt that turns the Flicky figure into like a 2.5 inch Badnik figure or something. Throw in a modern Eggman and boom. I mean, hell, I could even see them doing some Transformer shit and making them be able to like transform into a little cube and orb and all that crap. Yeah. But moving on to another one I think we'll get inevitably, being Sage. How the hell do we get Infinite in that last wave and not her? I mean, she would have fit right in there perfectly. I mean, I love Infinite as much as the next guy, but how did Jax not make a figure of her yet? I mean, they're making Prime stuff already. And after all those, let's move on to a couple that are probably not as possible, but still may be doable. Like, for example, figures from IDW, like Tangle, Whisper, and Dr. Starline. I think we will eventually see these guys someday, just not tomorrow or the day after, probably. A lot of these guys are probably just gonna get made when they run out of mainline characters. But two, I'm surprised we didn't get with the Sonic 2 line or Tom and Maddie. They'd obviously be in the same vein as the Jim Carrey figure. But I mean, come on, it was a golden opportunity to just release some sort of three-pack with Sonic, Tom, and Maddie. I mean, I'm sure if you gave kids the choice between Tom and Knuckles, they'd choose the epic red one any day. But I mean, I guess you could just get like a Cyclops figure good enough. And some Prime figures I like to see are Rouge in her outfit from the beginning. I mean, we have that little 2.5 inch Rouge of her as the pirate, but I'm surprised they're not making any figures or plushes or anything of this design, since it's a very unique design for the character. And that's probably where we stop. No, I'm not going to say we need merch of Archie characters or Sonic Schoolhouse characters or anything like that, since I am going to be trying to keep this mostly probable. Since I could see them doing something like IDW as the characters they literally don't even own anymore. It's just a hunch. So now that Jax is finally out of the way, let's go on to more general action figures. Like for example, playsets. I'm gonna keep this one relatively short and sweet, since I don't want like half this video to just be Jax. 
But I will say we do need some more modern playsets as opposed to classic ones. I mean, we've only had one, and that's if you count the Green Hill Zone from Generations as one. When it technically isn't, but technically is, I don't know. Like a city escape that's a big ramp or something, like, come on, please. And maybe some more really big play sets like they did with the Death Egg Robot and Station. Like, do some of the final bosses from Sonic games, like do a giant perfect chaos that comes with a little 2.5 inch Super Sonic. And have some gimmick where Sonic speeds across the floor or something and hits perfect chaos. Something else I'd like to see Jax do are Build-A-Figures. This one came straight from my boy Shattuck, so this is his poggers idea. Toy Allen did do this for their Sonic X line, and it was pretty awesome. And of course, me being the Marvel Legends shill I am, I'd very much appreciate this. Because it just gives you more bang for your buck. Though to be fair, Jax already does that, because Jax are giga chads. Also, I just realized while recording this, this would make people want to buy even more duplicate figures. I need to buy 12 Sonics, because this one has the yellow checkpoint, this one has the blue checkpoint, this one has the 10 ring that has the outline on it, and this one has Tails' left leg. So finally, moving on from Jax, another company I'd like to see take a swing at Sonic would be Super 7. They have some really great figures with their ultimate lines, which have several different accessories and are very accurate sculpts. I don't imagine they would make a billion characters in this line, but mainly just like a Sonic and a Shadow would be fine. Because those would just be so cool. Since the current Sonic collector figures on the market don't please me. And they could also do some figures for their iconic reaction line. Which are smaller, less articulated, but simple figures of classic characters from movies and TV and stuff. And while you may think that, um, actually it has to be from the 80s and 90s and stuff. I also thought that, and then I found out that they made figures for Lightyear, so literally anything goes. It doesn't need to just be G.I. Joe Transformers Thundercats He-Man. Those things existed. How's it feel to be on a major network for 30 seconds? F*** you! Bye! Moving on to another figure company, one I'd like to see take a swing are U2s. As you all know, I have a problem with YouTuber merch for some reason. I don't understand why. And I heavily collect U2s. Heavily. So Sonic ones would just be the creme de la creme of my collection. I have a whole video going over some Sonic YouTubers that I think should get some, and some concepts for what they would look like, so if you want to watch that, I'd greatly appreciate it. But even besides those, they've already made a dead meme one, which is just Ugandan goddamn knuckles. And the Connor Eats Pants YouTubes, which just kind of speaks for itself, I mean, look at it. They literally said Sonic in the description of it. Licensed Sonic ones could get into some really cool poses and be really unique next to different Sonic figures from across the years. And according to the most recent U2's Ask Me Anything they did on Reddit a couple weeks ago, they're currently working with Sega to make Persona figures, and they said after that they could probably do some other Sega franchises. So this just seems like an inevitability as opposed to a pipe dream. And finally for action figures, something I'd very much like to see, but it's probably never gonna happen and is a full-on pipe dream, a HasLab Sonic product. If you don't know, HasLab is a service that Hasbro does where they crowdfund campaigns for huge, expensive, and experimental products that they really can't do in a retail setting. They've done such masterpieces in this line as the 32-inch Galactus, which I just recently acquired for the low, low price of $500. Yes, I wanted to mention it again. The Amazing War for Cybertron Unicron figure, the dope-ass Sentinel from the X-Men, and more. Point is, the stuff they make is stuff that could really just never get made in any other setting. And by that I mean they wouldn't be able to put it in GameStop and stuff because they wouldn't want to have this giant 3 foot tall box laying on the shelf for $500. And it wouldn't sell as much so they do this weird crowdfunding bullshit so they can scam more people's money. Who else but has, bro? But something like this for Sonic would just be awesome. As for what it could be, there's a bunch of different ideas. But I could totally see it being a final boss like I said with the Jax play sets. Something like the Death Egg Robot, which would look really great since Galactus and Sentinel prove they're really good at doing mechanical looking figures. And they could add a bunch of lights and sounds to it if they wanted to. Or maybe they could do some sort of Star Wars vintage collection type vehicle. Like obviously a Death Egg with a full on interior, or Eggman's airship from Adventure or something. However, some of my favorite ideas would be stuff like the Time Eater, Perfect Chaos which would just be awesome, and my personal favorite, Dark Gaia. Cause let's be real, we need more Dark Gaia rep in the world. Out of here with that light Gaia HasLab concept, nah, give me the big eyeball man. I mean, hell, they could even Transformers the hell out of this and make him actually be able to transform into the perfect Dark Gaia. It'd be so cool. Leave it to me to sit here and do Hasbro's job for them and make them money. Who else but Frankie? But I mean, let's be real, something like this is probably never gonna happen since this would require Hasbro getting the Sonic license, which is probably never gonna happen. Since I guarantee Jax has that paperwork stored away in their vault like in goddamn Fortnite. I mean, if they can make a profit off of this, they're really doing something right, I guess. On to another company, let's talk Lego. I'm gonna keep this one short to just one idea, since I've already done a whole video talking about what I want from LEGO Sonic. And that video came out flawlessly, with my predictions coming out 100% true with nothing different whatsoever than what I said. So I'm just gonna say right now that they should do a giant LEGO Death Egg Station. Which I know I said in the video, but 
What if they just took the Lego Death Star and just put a goddamn mustache on it and made it Sonic? What if they did an entire interior to the Death Egg and just made it like the Death Star? That would be the funniest thing ever. Like, imagine they just gutted it and then put a bunch of random doodads and knickknacks from Sonic 3 in it. Throw in a couple exclusive badniks and exclusive minifigures and boom, you got yourself a money maker. I mean, this would just be dope as hell. And I mean, hell, Lego really seems to love Eggman for some reason. After that, there's a really random one I want to bring up. Being a set of real-life Chaos Emeralds, but very specific. As I had this idea from those Dragon Balls that came in the little case that every YouTube runner of the sun seemed to have had at one point, but just Chaos Emeralds. We've gotten some random real-life looking Chaos Emeralds here and there, but never a full set like this, and never widely released. I mean, hell, they could just do something like the Marvel vs. Capcom Collector's Edition, where they just sort of have some display case that has all the stones in there. But you know, they like actually look like the Emeralds, and they're not goddamn Easter eggs. Fucking Rise of the Guardians looking ass. And who knows, maybe they can incorporate some sort of light function and have them actually light up on a display. Like, could you imagine a bunch of Chaos Emeralds lit up all around with action figures all over them? That would be badass. Though TBH, honestly, I'd rather have the Soul Emeralds from that little box that they came in an IW Sonic. I mean, that thing was just peak. And some other really cool idea I had is have a Sonic version of, like, I don't really know what I'd call it as a genre, but the high-cost electronic things based off an IP that a bunch of YouTubers review and they're really cool and expensive and then everyone just kind of forgets about, but they do have a really cool gimmick. Yeah, that, but Sonic. Something in the same vein as that Sphero BB-8 or the Robosyn Optimus Prime. Like, I want a figure of Sonic that's super expensive and has a complicated robotic system within it that allows it to, like, run on its own or something. Something like that would be hella expensive, but honestly, I'd say it's worth it. I'm assuming we would probably have to use some sort of clever wheel system implemented under the shoes or something, and some super complicated balancing system, and it would all be controlled by your phone. I do think it's possible, and plus it'd come in a really cool expensive looking box. Our man would be dressed to the nines in there. But yeah, this thing would just be historic. After all those, though, I think I've rambled on long enough. So let's cut on over to our man Speed Supersonic. Take it away, Ricardo. Wow, thank you, Bobo Squirtle. Such a pleasure. It seems like for decades we've been asking for Sonic the Hedgehog merchandise, merchandise of different characters. In this decade alone, in the 2020s, Sega has really been answering the bill, delivering stuff that we haven't been seeing in years or really ever. I think it's safe to say we're undoubtedly living in the golden age of Sonic merchandise right now. In fact, shameless plug, when I'm filming my show Sonic Merch Hunt, Sonic is one of the most represented franchises I see in the stores. And because I want to see Sonic rule the world, I want to flood the market with Sonic merchandise. So today, we're going to be taking a walk through this here Target, don't try to find where I live, and see what companies and different kinds of merchandise that could be created. Alright, so here's me walking into this little store right here, and in almost every Target, the first thing you see is this little dollar area right here, basically the quote-unquote cheapo section of Target, and in this section and basically the entire store, we're going to be looking for the licensed characters to see where we can have the Sonic equivalent. First thing I noticed were these Ninja Turtle bath bombs right here. This is by a company called Centric Beauty, they have a bunch of different entertainment franchises as licensees. But no Sonic the Hedgehog, and I know what you're saying, we've had Sonic bath bombs in the past, but not very accessible ones. So that's something I'd really like to see. I saw bandages of like Looney Tunes and Transformers and stuff. The company who produces these, ASO LLC, the company still has the license for Sonic the Hedgehog according to this website right here, but like, they're adhesive bandages, they're not Band-Aid, the big brand. And I don't really see the Sonic ones around anymore, so that'd probably be my next order of business is signing a deal with Band-Aid. Now the boys clothing section was something I thought could use some work, but no. In fact, I think Sonic might be the most well-represented brand in here from hoodies, sweaters, t-shirts, too many t-shirts in fact. Let's mention stuff like onesie pajamas, underwear, normal kinds of pajamas. I have no critiques or anything I would add, Sick is killing it in this department. Oh, I spotted licensed characters and what do I see? Sonic. Already represented when it comes to hooded towels. Now this is something new I saw, these character cloud pillows and throw sets. These are super cool and done by a company called Northwest. Upon further review, they do not have the Sonic the Hedgehog license yet, so this is the market that they could tap into. Target's pushing this brand, so why not have a Sonic version of these. As I walked further into the bedding section, I spotted these hooded blankets right here of all these different characters. This is by a company called J. Franco, not to be confused with Franco. Sonic is not currently one of J. Franco's brands, but Sonic is a brand of Franco. From what I understand, these are two completely different bedding companies, but they also share the name Franco. Not sure if it's possible, let's try to get some Sonic hooded blankets made. But in terms of just the normal Sonic bedding section, he's perfectly well represented 
with Franco, carrying her traditional bedding affair and also these little pillow plushes too. The next major aisle we have are kids books. Obviously we have the long running IDW Sonic the Hedgehog comic book, but this isn't a comic book location in Target. These are just regular activity books, story books, but no Sonic in sight here. Some new Sonic activity books are definitely in need here. I'd really like if Sonic got his own steps into reading series as that's a series of books that features a lot of licensed characters, and I think if Sonic teamed up with Random House Children's Books, the publishers of that series and some other books, it could be very beneficial as they get into a lot of locations and have a lot of popular different series, whether that be the aforementioned steps into reading or a little golden book or something. Over in the electronics, I spotted a lot of Funko Pops for some reason. It got me thinking about the weird way Sonic Funko Pops are being handled right now. We haven't had a real proper line of new Sonic Funko Pops since the release of modern characters years back. Since then, it's just been random exclusive releases every now and then every couple months. I think we're long overdue for a new wave. Some characters I'd like to see are definitely the Chaotix get their own Funko Pop. I'd love to see a Big the Cat Funko Pop in some way. Blaze the Cat would be cool. Maybe you want to take a risk and make some game-specific characters. I think Sage would do really well right now. If you need a Sonic variant, maybe you could have Sonic with a Coco. Heck, maybe they want to get really ballsy and do some IDW characters like Tangle or Whisper. The possibilities are endless, if you will, when it comes to Sonic Funko Pops. For whatever reason, Sonic is still allowed to infest the Nintendo collectible section. I don't know why that's allowed, but it continues to happen, so shout out to Sonic. And over here in this collectible area near the DVDs and music, it's just a lot of higher-end collectibles by companies like Kid Robot, NECA, and some other companies. And in terms of Kid Robot, Sonic is perfectly well covered as you can see. Whether it be their larger line of, well, vibrators, or their smaller plushes, we have plenty. But as Bubble Squirrel was talking about here, we have the Super 7 Ninja Turtle figures, and I see exactly why we need Sonic ones of these. There are plenty of Sonic versions of these Kid Robot vinyl minifigures, but we don't have Sonic funny vinyl figures, so that's something I would like to see. And I know that Sonic is probably not going to work with NECA anytime in the near future, but I would love to see high-end figures like this, even if they do clog up store shelves. Target is slowly going to be phasing out their DVD section, so it's not really much to worry about with that form of media kind of dying. Plus, at least at the release of this video, they're selling Sonic Sat AM the complete series on DVD, which I was really surprised to see. But no Sonic vinyls! But speaking of Sonic vinyls, not only are they not the most accessible right now, but there aren't that many. A lot of them are for classic games, which don't get me wrong, have great soundtracks, but nothing that sounds particularly amazing on vinyl. But the modern games have a more of a rock-focused sound. Not only does it make more sense for vinyl, but I think it would just do better overall. I think having vinyls for stuff like Heroes, Sonic Unleashed especially, colors would be amazing. I'm surprised they didn't do that for the Ultimate release. And we have a Sonic Frontiers vinyl, so just put that in some stores. An area we couldn't say Sonic was well represented in before, he's now very well represented in with having his own display even. So what are some other LEGO sets we could see in the future? Well, they're already answering the call for Shadow and Knuckles sets, so that's great. But if we get an actual Death Egg set, I think that would be amazing. Maybe a Neo Metal Sonic or just a straight up recreation of the final boss of Sonic Heroes. Also similar to their Mario series, I'd love to see some character packs. Also some badniks or enemies or smaller characters, I'd love to see that. Chow even, we haven't had that yet. I think that's perfect for a Lego set. Just give us more Legos. There's this mini Sonic toy section that Target's had for a while with non jax related products. This is perfectly fine with the RC cars and the pullbacks and these new bendy figures that they just added. So I don't have too many critiques outside of there being a little more Mario than there is Sonic here. Now this is probably the biggest thing that I think needs to happen with the Sonic license and that's having a proper card game. The last time they really made a proper attempt at this was Sonic X but it was so lackluster. I think if they really went all out with a Pokemon-esque Sonic card game it could do really well with a bunch of different custom art. There's so many different Sonic characters. I think this could work really well. Will it be as popular as Pokemon? Absolutely not. But I think if you got with a company like Tops or something that could be really beneficial. Maybe there's a better company you could get with to make this more quote-unquote Pokemon-esque. But yeah, Sonic trading cards. Make it happen. Yeah, I don't think you'd get any better toy representation than this. Sonic has his own freaking display right here in Target. Bulbous World basically listed off almost every single character you can make into a 4 2.5 inch figure. So I don't have too much to offer you here, but soap shoes. What the f*** is going on? Where are the soap shoes? Why more plushes and specifically action figures aren't using this shoe is beyond me. This could be an easy Sonic variant in your new wave and probably be the highest selling figure in that wave if we're being honest. Also speaking of Sonic Adventure 2, I think a Chow Garden playset would be cool with a variety of different mini Chow. Big Littlest Pet Shop.
but Sonic. I don't think Jack's plushes will ever really hit like that, so I'm just not gonna even try there. I genuinely don't know if Sonic has a proper bike partner right now. The only one I can even find online is $158, and that's a little ridiculous. So I'd love to see them partner up with a brand like Huffy, who works with a bunch of different licensies. I don't think the Sonic diecast cars by Jax have really been doing what they expected, and Hot Wheels does have the Sonic license. There are these two character cars of Sonic and Tails that not only are incredibly hard to find, but are just the wrong approach to Sonic Hot Wheels in my opinion. If you're gonna do it, do it like the Mario Kart series, it's so obvious. You can have a bunch of new characters, variants, even racetracks, maybe some monster trucks as well. This is a license I think Sega should really reevaluate and take more advantage of. While Nerf is the more attractive brand, Sonic already has a deal with X-Shot as the toy gun partner. They're selling them to this day, and they're in the Sonic aisle, so if you're not seeing them here, that's why. They're making new ones all the time, so I don't really have any complaints here. While we do have Sonic Crash Course as a board game in Target, there could be so many more, just look at the Mario ones next to him. Sonic Chess, Sonic Connect 4, Sonic Monopoly, there's so many different options. Yeah, we've had some of these in the past, but they were a while ago and aren't in production anymore. More Sonic board games would be great, it's a gaming franchise, I don't understand why there isn't more of that. Sonic Balls, perhaps? It's around Halloween now, so let's go check out these costumes. Alright, video games, and no, you. I know Disguise is a subsidiary of Jack Specific, so Sega basically has to work with them, but costumes like these, which are ironically made by Jazzwares, have that little foam fabric in there, you know what I'm talking about? It makes it feel a little more special when you put it on for Halloween. And for whatever reason, Disguise is doing a great job at this when it comes to their Sonic Prime costumes. Their Prime costumes are amazing, but this is just a onesie. But not just that, costumes like the modern costumes are just not in Target right now, you have to go to like Spirit Halloween for that. We're pretty covered with Sonic juice right now when it comes to stuff like Good to Grows, but look at all these Mario branded food products, look at all these other branded food products with other mascots on there. Definitely need a Sonic promotion on some vanilla wafers and Oreo minis, you know what I'm saying? Sonic is perfectly covered when it comes to energy drinks, he has his own G Fuel, other characters are getting their own G Fuel, so we're fine. But what about chips? I'm trying to see Sonic on a bag of Doritos. No Sonic Frontiers The Final Horizon tie-in for Doritos, we can have Starfield, okay. Star Wars Goldfish? Sonic Goldfish. Simple. Uh, Sonic Liquor? I don't think so. Also for candy, we're really lacking when it comes to Sonic candy right now. Look at all these Spongebob Krabby Patty branded stuff. We could have a Sonic candy branded thing. There appeared to have been a Sonic candy partner at one point, but not anymore. Same with the Sonic cereal. General Mills' partnership with Sonic was really short-lived. We knew the cereal was going to be limited time, but why did it have to be? Why couldn't it have gone on a little longer? But if Sonic can't do his own cereal, we can do a promotion with another cereal brand like Cinnamon Toast Crunch or Tricks or whatever. For yogurt, we had Sonic Danimal. Bring them back. But you know, I'm easy. I'll take Sonic Gogurt. Little baby kitty sippy cups. We got that covered. Now, Sonic does have a toothbrush partnership with Firefly, but that doesn't seem to be in stores here. Uh, so yeah, just put it in stores. We don't have Sonic toothpaste, though. We definitely need some of that. And that was our walkthrough through Target. I'm sure I've eaten up enough time, so I just want to thank Bubble Squirrel for having me and hope you guys liked some of my ideas. I'll catch you later. Thank you, Ricardo, for your late epic adventures through Target. Yeah, I'm gonna be real, I did not tell him to do that. He went out of his way to go over to Target and film all that. Man's a mad lad. Go show him some love. But yeah, that's a wrap on the video. I'm doing this unscripted because I didn't write an ending. Uh, because for some reason I didn't feel like it or something, I don't know. Also, there's a few things that I would like to make clear. Firstly, thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. Holy hell. What an absolute number to achieve. Our subscriber count can almost legally drink. Yeah, and now we're 20% of the way there to the goal I had when I was 7 years old. To get the damn silver brick. So thank you guys again, here's to 20 more K. Also, I'm very sorry this video took 12,000 years to come out. It seems like every day I get to work on the video, something comes up, or something happens, and it eats up all my time, or something, or Sonic Frontiers has an update that comes out that makes me have to sit down for hours to play it because it has a stupid-ass difficulty curve at the end with a ridiculous final mission. God, that was bullcrap. But it's finally done, so have at the... And yeah, the 20,000 subscribers special will be out relatively soon, hypothetically. It's pretty much 95% done, we're just adding some finishing touches, it's something really special and really different that I think you guys are really going to enjoy, it's going to be epic. Also, I don't know if you guys heard, the McRib will be coming back this November, it's going to be crazy. Those No Way Home figures look incredible, I drew this really cool Beelzebub in school, it's pretty epic. Ahsoka's finale came out, god that was awful. 
And uh, yeah, that's about it. See ya.